Hey, what's up, Bikes? Today we'll be talking about the importance of voting. As well as a preview for, for our interview with Chris Kobach, who's running for governor. I'm Darren. And I'm Mason. And this is your news. Your opinion matters, and that's why it's important for you to vote. Allie went and talked to Mr. Reinberg about voting. Let's go check it out. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Reinberg to learn more about the voting registration. So, what is the easiest way for the seniors to vote? The easiest way to vote will be uh, once you get registered, uh, Kansas will send you a little postcard and it'll tell you exactly where you need to go vote. It's important to take a look at that postcard because you can only vote in your one voting place. So make sure you pay attention to that. Okay. And then why should they vote? Young people in the United States make up the largest group of people other than the baby boomers. And I think it's important that we have our political voice heard. Uh, people under 35 are the most likely people not to vote and also the most likely people to complain about the government. So if you want to complain about the government, at least go out and vote. Okay, thank you. If you have not already registered to vote, be sure to go online before 5 p.m. tonight. Search Kansas Online Voter Registration and follow the four easy step process to register for voting. Don't forget, today is the last day to register to vote. You can register to vote online and it'll only take a few minutes. Now, let's get on with the rest of the news. The Spirit Shirt order deadline is tomorrow. Turn in your orders to the bank. Seaman Women's t-shirts are on sale till October 19th. Pay the bank and give your receipt and order form to Reagan Bond. The last day to register for the ACT prep workshop is October 18th. The cost is $45. Fill out the form and return it to Ms. Olson in the office. The class is October 25th in the auditorium. If you've applied for the Viking Brew, go to Ms. Averill's room in W3 to get a teacher eval form. They are due October 19th. Have you ever been in a rap battle? On October 30th, there will be a poetry slam at Lawrence High. Bring your best lyrics and prepare for a battle. Transportation will be provided. There will be a canned food drive sponsored by the Trick or Treat so kids can eat during seminar. The seminar with the most donations will get free tickets to the fall play as well as a pizza party. And they better not get Little Caesars. Mr. Hoffman posted the survey for his class on Schoology. Help a guy out and fill out the survey. I'll be back with sports after this quick commercial break. Hey guys, it's me, a Viking. Spirit Club is selling blue and red Viking Pride shirts for $13. You can get an order form from Mrs. Geis in room N14 or in the office. All order forms are due October 17th to the bank. There will be no late orders. Remember, Vikes, we don't stop when we are tired. We stop when we win. All right, guys, we're going to start a new unit today. We're going to be on the presidency. Go ahead and take out your computers, please. When using technology, remember to do the following. Follow teacher instructions. Use only your computer passwords and keep them private. Be sure to report all technology problems. Keep your computer in the case and charged at all times. Use your computer for appropriate use only. Be a Viking. Practice good digital citizenship. Seaman strong. Tennis players Emma Dowd and Alex Sadoska took 10th place at state. Good job to the girls tennis team in general for killing it this year. Girls and boys cross country is also doing an awesome job this year, so keep up the good work. Now we're over to Jordan with the weather.
Hey Vikes, I may, may not be Josh Duncan, but here's your weather. For tonight's senior night soccer game, it's going to be about 50 degrees, so make sure to pack a jacket when you go and support the Vikes. And late Thursday night, Josh has predicted some scattered showers possible, so be ready for that. And then for your SVTV seven day forecast, we're sitting at a comfortable 60 degrees with lows in the 30s and 40s this week with lots of sunshine. Now back to your anchors. All right, so I got the chance to sit down with Secretary of State Chris Kobach, who's currently running for governor. The full interview will air on the 30th, but we'll show you this little preview. Hey, Vikes. Today I'm sitting down with a very special guest, uh, current Kansas Secretary of State and GOP candidate for uh, Kansas governor, Chris Kobach. Chris, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. I know you're a busy man. Uh, I was at the Trump rally on Saturday. How do you think that went? I thought it was amazing. Um, it was incredible the energy mm -hmm. in the expo center there were 11,000 people inside another 9,000 people didn't get in mm -hmm. lined up outside and they watched on the jumbotron that's out front it was incredible i i uh remember back to when i was eight years old and president gerald ford came to topeka in 1975 this dates me but mm -hmm. um it was a big deal then and i remember the city you know being really excited about the presidential visit and it's a memory that i've had you know for 40 years since, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope that the you know the presidential rally that you attended, you'll remember that for many years right. because it's it's a big big deal. Mm -hmm. As President Trump would say, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first question I really want to get into is something that I think is really important to a lot of Kansans, and that's uh, what do you love about this state? Well, Vikes, that's all we have for today. Make sure if you're eligible to register to vote. And stay tuned for my interview with Kobach in the coming weeks. And as always, Vikes, stay classy. Just bounce to this.